Can I tell you what scares me most? Getting stuck here. It's time to walk out of our comfort zone and into the wilderness. How you doing, Jess? How are you, Question is, Crystal, how are you with that 100 pound backpack? Oh, I'm out of breath. We're trekking through the snow to find discomfort for the next 24 hours. All we know is that at the end of this hike, there is a tent that apparently gets hot. Hence the name. I think I see it. We made it. Oh. This is it, eh? Oh, oh baby. Oh. Woo. Oh. Woo. Oh. All right, everyone. After a long walk, we've arrived at our hot tent. We're gonna spend the next 24 hours overnight in this canvas hot tent in the middle of this rugged landscape in Canada. While you're all the way out here, there are some very important elements that you need to think about. Shelter. Frozen. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> a place to lay your head down comfortably. Heat to stay warm through the night. There is a chance of getting hypothermia if your tent is not warm enough. Food and water, as well as a place to use the bathroom. Good company is a plus. <laughs> You're letting all the heat I can't in. take my bag off yet. I, there's yeah, no there's heat no in cold. here. No. I was told we have to sweep away the spiders and scare away the mice. What's oh, the dude. mice scaring tactic like this? <laughs> what do you choose, mice or spiders? <laughs> I choose to go home. Oh my gosh, my legs. You did it. Okay. Good work there, champion. Lose the pack. It's getting chilly in here fast. Now that we've stopped moving, we're not doing any exercise, trying to get this fire started as a team now. We're starting to really chill out. I can. A little bit of a struggle. If we don't get this fire going, we're gonna freeze. Come on, gals. You got you do it. it. I see some orange in there. That's how cold it is, everyone. Uh, it's ice in there. I'm actually freezing. The reason I'm scared to get comfortable is because I realize there's a lot less growth in your comfort zone. Throughout my 28 years, and like a lot of you, I've experienced some discomforts, and I now know that so much of my strength has come from these challenges. I know that the challenges that we're all going to experience over the next 24 hours, no matter how minor, we will learn from and grow from. You're the good one, just do it. Okay. Here I go. <laughs> now I'm scared. Woo! What did you do? We got the fire going. I think going. your face tells it all. <laughs> <laughs> got the fire going. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Team kindling fire, boom. I'm very interested to see how much the temperature increases because, well, that's a mattress, but <laughs> that's a tent. And we're cuddling tonight. Four girls in a hot tent. Six girls. <laughs> oh, sorry, girls. And good thing we got them because they're the warmest doggies ever. Yeah, and Bear loves to spoon me. I'm in luck. <laughs> I love that tent. What do you think? Looks like a composting. Wood shavings for the toilet, ladder, not sure what that does. Wet wipes, essential for camping, and something really smart. You would think this is good old peanut butter, but it's not. Toilet paper, so the mice don't chew it all up. They are quite the creatures, let me tell you. And a clear roof, so you can have a nice view. Well, we have a place to go to the bathroom. That's a win. Woo! Don't need to dig a hole. No holes need to be dug. And now. that's especially important in the winter because it's frozen. We got these awesome hunting trail cams to put up in the woods. They're fully weatherproof and they have sensors that turn on just in case there's some stalkers in the woods. If y'all watch that video. <laughs> But in all realness, we want to see what's going on out here at night. Whether there's some animals around the tent. Okay, first time using a trail cam. Hopefully it's set up properly because I'm excited to see what's out here. <gasps> no, oh no, 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 they're oh so vicious. God. They're so vicious. Izzy, stay. Welcome to the hot tent. This is a canvas tent that has the structural integrity to combat even some of the toughest winter elements. It's designed to withstand some of the most extreme winds and massive snow loads. Material doesn't allow heat to transfer outside nearly as fast, so the heat stays in here circulating a lot longer. And by the looks of it, I'm thinking it's 12 by 8. Do you do construction for a living? <laughs> The base of the tent is made out of plywood. That's the floor we're standing on here and that we will be sleeping on tonight. And it's raised about a foot off of the earth, which is really great when you're winter camping. The front door is a zipper up door. 
Window number one. Window number two. Two hammocks in here for sleeping. This is an outdoor heavy duty kitchen stand that you can prep and cook at. So there's a propane stove in here. We've got a nice little kettle to boil some water later on. Extra propane and all the tools we'll need for our stay. Pots and pans. Emergency drinking water. Yes, it's frozen. <laughs> and mugs for a cup of ambition in the morning. Keep the tent clean. And even dog dishes. This will be our dining room table. We have just enough chairs. This place doubles up as your bed because these are sleeping pads that will come down onto the ground. This is the pantry with emergency candles. We've got matches, extra canned goods, just in case you forget something. Cards, in case you get bored, that happens. Of course, I scouted the electrical right away. And even inverter with some solar panels to charge your things. This cast iron stove is gonna be our best friend for the next 24 hours because without this, we aren't gonna make it out here. The chimney pipe. Absolutely nothing compares to wood heat. That is a fact. And not only is it gonna keep us warm, we can cook on it. It's right at your eye level. What are we up to, gals? We are increasing our testosterone levels. By chopping wood. Science says that humans experience a huge testosterone boost when chopping. Compared to most sports and other activities, none have the same effect as cutting wood. They do say I know how to pick a log. <laughs> Oh, it's happening right now. Did you see him, Matt? So proud. How's the testosterone? Through the roof. Girl, you look so pretty out there. Oh. We're gonna go in now, guys. Come on. All right, we've gathered the wood. Do I still have this on my face? It's getting warm in the hot tub. Oh. That means it's hot in here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got it to seven degrees. We made it so hot in this hot tent <laughs> Why do I always that the that? snow melted off the, the roof. roof. <laughs> now that the most important task is taken care of, a warm tent, it's time to warm our bellies. A treat for you and a treat for you. What about me? You get a full one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go chop chop. Oh! Chef Talia is obsessed with garlic. So we're cutting six cloves today. And they're not any cloves. They are big mamas. That is a my eye. Oh ready. my god, I'm cutting potatoes. Do you know what that means? What? <laughs> That's weird. I don't know if anyone's ever had raw potatoes before, but they're probably my favorite food. Well, potatoes are my favorite food because if you eat them any other way, you can even eat them raw with salt. So good. You like salt? How do you yeah. feel cooking in a hot tent? Steamy. I need a break on prep and towel. We're making our AG1 with our travel packs today because we're not at the cabin. And of course we brought four because our friends love it just as much as we do. Well, actually we brought more than four. We brought a full box so we can leave it here for the next people who get to enjoy this beautiful hot tent. We've done a lot of exercise today with our one hour hike here, all the prep. And sometimes when you're camping, you get a one pot meal. No offense to all, but <laughs> come on. Like you sometimes you don't get all your vitamins and your nutrients and AG1 is gonna cover us for this trip. But we're not gonna miss out on AG1 just cause we're camping. That's why we have these travel packs, baby. Love it. <laughs> I'm shaking up eight ounces of water, 75 vitamins, nutrients, minerals, and everything your body needs to keep you going. More important than ever today, but always important every day, no matter what you're doing. How's it taste? Everyone always asks. It's delicious. We've been taking AG1 by Athletic Greens on a daily basis for almost two and a half years. And almost immediately after starting to drink AG1, we felt the benefits. Our digestive systems were happy. We had more energy. It's a daily ritual that we cannot recommend more to our community. If you'd like to join us, we've left you a link in the description. With your first purchase, you will receive five free travel packs and a year supply immune supporting vitamin D dropper with your first purchase. I, I had low expectations and right now it's smelling good in here. See the bits? And so then you're gonna pour the wine on the brown. And like scrape them off and then it's gonna the make wine. the sauce like, like delicious. Like the richie stuff, right? That's how you make a stew. Are you kidding me? <laughs> how do you know this, Tal? Deglazing. My mom. Shout out. Aww. We have gone up two degrees. Seven, eight, nine. That's three. Three degrees. The lowest it's been in here is three. Kind of feels nice Ooh. to be a little bit uncomfortable and really work for the luxuries, you know? Something that we have in the cabin now. When we moved here, our cabin was merely just a shelter. Every single week, it becomes more comfortable and more and more like a home. And this is the reason I need to continue to put myself out of my comfort zone. Pause up, pause up. Leave it, sorry your dinner's not warm, girls. Ready, turn. Good girl. 
You can see the girls' breath as they eat. We used the camp stove to get this meal started, but now we're gonna simmer it the traditional way. I wish I could share this all with you. If you got to taste Talia's food, that's all you need to do in life. That's the nicest thing you ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> We get together, right. we all eat stew. Ready You're for Crystal's excitement, it. everyone? Mm. <laughs> Here's the eyeballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, baby. You mm. like They're good. 16, man, we're almost at summer day in Canada. We've probably went through five logs so far. We have all of this. Do you think we're gonna go through all of it? Wait, actually, do we have enough? That's what I'm worried about. For the night? Yeah, it's early. I hope we make it through the night. I have been watching YouTube videos of hot tents. And before we go to bed, we need to have a game plan and that involves us going outside. It's probably gonna be like negative 25 tonight when we go outside. I hope someone wakes up during the night actually to stoke the fire, because I know that won't be me but I'll be up late stoking it. It's actually mm -hmm. really hot Yeah, here. it's toasty now. 19! We're doing really well. 19 Wait, is, we... 19's a big deal. I didn't think we would get here. It's kinda nice. It is nice There's to no relax. I do miss my nail gun, but. Nails, 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 nails. Yeah, we go way back. It does feel really nice to unplug, and maybe I should do this more often even when I'm at the cabin. I should put my phone somewhere and, or just put on airplay mode. We all know I'm gonna swipe back and turn it back on, but <laughs> maybe we need to go camping more. Get out of our comfort zone, you know? We got light switches now in the cabin. Like, that's luck. 20 degrees. 20 degrees! <gasps> Celebrate <gasps> good times, come on! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty spooky, eh? We are used to walking outside to go to the bathroom, so this is very similar. The only thing that's different is I don't know the trail, and this trail is very rocky. We're Ours is like the back of my hand. No stars tonight. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Look at that spotlight, everyone. That's so smart, and it works off a solar panel. It allows you to see directly to the hot tent. I think we have to get one of those, wow. Okay, back in. Oh my goodness, it's so nice in here. I'm seriously surprised how much this hot tent heats up. And I know that sounds silly because it's called a hot tent, but if you think of it, it was being so cold out there and this just like a canvas tent. How warm it really stays here. I'm impressed. Hey, Crystal's here because she is the fire master and what really got it warm in here. Did you think a hot tent could get this warm? I had a feeling. <laughs> yeah. <Huh? laughs> well, hence the name, you know, I thought it would maybe get warm. Tal? Yeah, baby. Well, I'm still in the snow pants. <laughs> <laughs> are you sleeping in those? Hell yeah. yeah. Tonight we are sleeping on a combination of sleeping pads and sleeping bags, and we're gonna make something really nice and comfortable. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm fairly confident we're gonna sleep well with how warm it is, but this ain't no king. This ain't no ki what's it called? <laughs> this ain't no California king, so I'm trying it's to say. It's better. For the cherry on top, look what we have. Cool. A negative 10 sleeping bag. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that looks nice. Negative 10. Look, even has a little place for your head. Because it's going to get colder as the night goes on, we've stacked a bunch of wood here beside the stove. It's going to dry out and that'll save us from going out in the middle of the night in the cold and allow us to sleep a lot more comfortably as we can just pop logs in as we're going to be sleeping essentially right beside the stove. <laughs> I'm very happy with our kindling collection, but I am not happy with our big logs. For one, we don't have that many. For two, they're wet. But I'm happy with kindling because in order to start our fire once it probably goes out tonight, this is gonna make it nice and easy. Peel this off, it'll help start it. This is birch, and if you're not from Canada, you won't know. Or if you're from the West Coast, you don't have birch trees. So this is like paper, and it helps you start your fire super quick. You're all gonna thank me later. Cause it is pretty wet. We've all settled in. It's a cozy night, so far a success. Although we ran out of water and we're getting low on logs. Top wife. And they're complaining I didn't shut the door. <laughs> this is what they're doing, and I am getting us all water. <laughs> Thanks, John. No, I'm not sharing. We need water. We need logs. Go get logs. Go get logs. <laughs> you know that simple thing that comes out of a lot of people's taps? I'm walking in the night trying to find the perfect snowbank because we're running out of water. But we didn't want to carry lots of water because water is super heavy and our backpacks were already heavy enough. Let's wake them up. Morning. Oh, that might be the ground. We're gonna do that by melting snow. You wanna taste that snow? 
You probably love it. I'm so happy. I have a full pot. I wonder how much water this is going to make. Oh yeah, I love that gun. That's a good sound. Enough coffee for one, let me say that. Did anyone bring any snacks? There has to be something in here. <laughs> we decided to look a little bit deeper into this very- Don't show them, don't show them. Piece of grit. Stocked pantry. And what did Jasmine find? Kernels or popcorn. And we got some oil. Anybody Hello. Ready? I'm just waiting on the kernel. Talia is convinced we have to do it on the wood stove. You gotta wait. I'm hella hungry, but we're waiting on a vibe here. Like, what is the vibe? The vibe is just eating popcorn. I've been looking for snacks for a while. Like, I'm like a mouse, everyone. I scavenged this hot tent. Three, two, one. Let there be popcorn! Yay! Yay! Midnight snack mission completed. After failing miserably at catching popcorn and stoking the fire one last time. Because time to get eight hours of sleep or more. I hope. Time to simmer the fire. And brace ourselves for a long cold night. Oh, I see it. It's big. I don't even know. It's not a mice. That is not anything that is big. <gasps> no, oh no, 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 no. They're oh so vicious. God. You're lying. Where am I lying? Did you see it? Tal, I saw it's it. It's white. Yeah, it's white. Oh, it's behind you. <laughs> I jumped so fast here. This creature might look cute, but it's not. They hunt prey that are 10 times their size. Spooky. <sighs> We're not sleeping alone tonight. And to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna fall back asleep. Could you? Crystal's taking one for the team. Sleeping on the outside now. Thank you. Brave. Turns out it wasn't six girls in a hot tent. It was six girls plus a bunch of rodents. We have now seen more than three in here this morning. <gasps> yay, 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 yay. Oh, yay, yay, yay. We've all been packing up, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm almost 100% positive they are super vicious, only because I've been doing research on them lately because I've seen them in the wild out here. And I'm more scared for Belle and Izzy than anything. Yeah, sure, I heard the scream last night. No, I know, I'm, I'm petrified as well, but I know to like stay back, you know? Yeah. Bella is a hunter. First degree murderer, actually, on squirrels. Bluebird day, would you look at that? so scary in the tent and it's so happy out here. I love when I see snow just lit up by the sun, but the rest of the area is not yet lit up by the sun, like this. It reminds me of myself trying to wake up out of bed because a lot of days it's very hard for me to get out of bed and get my day going because we don't normally have this beautiful sun. We do today and it just shows that the sun will shine on everyone. I think the most important message here is that sometimes our comfort zones should be broken. And getting out of your comfort zone can look so many different ways. I think it's safe to say we all encourage you to try something similar. I think sometimes comfort stunts our growth. And the last 24 hours out here in the middle of winter in this tent has been quite an experience that I'm never gonna forget. Adios. And our friends made this experience. Your shower, the key to the penthouse. I love the bed. What I love about going from one extreme to another extreme, if you can call them extremes, is that you appreciate where you live so much more. Anytime I've ever complained about the generator or if I do complain about having to pull it going forward or doing anything, all I'm gonna remind myself is a rodent slept at my head. Hey! <laughs>